our lives can turn upside down in a single day but most people aren't prepared for it you could be someone who earns a regular income tracks all your expenses invest regularly and saves for retirement but what if one unfortunate day you met with an accident and can't work anymore or what if your child gets seriously sick and needs some expensive treatment many people avoid thinking about such situations because they believe it won't happen to them but we all know that truth is different just one unfortunate event is enough to wipe out all the careful financial planning you have been doing for years and there is only one solution to survive such situations insurance coverage but in today's world almost anything can be insured from your mobile phone to your life in germany you can even get an elevator insurance for just 12 euros a year this insurance covers you every time you get stuck in an elevator but statistically the average human only gets stuck in an elevator once every one or two years it's very unlikely that you will ever need it so how do we decide which ones are really required there is an easy way to figure it out just think about the worst case scenario that could happen if you didn't have that insurance cover how much would it cost you if that amount is more than what you can possibly afford then you likely need that insurance but to make it easier for you In this video I'll give you a list of insurance that everyone must have and a few that can be ignored. I'll be focusing on Germany since I live here, but the policies and principles that I mentioned here are applicable no matter where you are in the world. So first, let's talk about those insurances that are mandated by law in Germany and in most countries. Everyone, I repeat, everyone should have health insurance or Krankenversicherung even if it's not required by law. Health is the most important part of our life and it's very important to protect it with the necessary insurance. You have the option to choose between a government or a private health insurance depending on your situation. But for most people, a government health insurance make more sense if your government offers it because your premium is based on your income and in most cases the coverage extends to your family, but it may not include every possible treatment. So from time to time, you may still need to pay out of your own pocket. On the other hand, Private health insurance offers better and faster service and the premium you pay depends on the level of benefits you choose but note that the premium can increase sharply as you age so you should only opt for private insurance if you're absolutely sure you can afford it long term when it comes to health insurance there is one thing that most people forget it's not enough that you alone are covered you need to make sure that your immediate family and those who depend on you like your parents and grandparents are also insured the health is just as important as yours so make sure they are protected too in most countries if you own a vehicle you are required by law to have third party motor vehicle insurance this covers any damage you might cause to others in traffic you can also choose to insure damages to your own vehicle partially or completely It's not mandatory but it's recommended to do this based on the age of your car and your personal situation. For most people, government pension insurance or rent and versicherung is the backbone of the retirement planning. The state wants to make sure that you have a reliable income in old age and it's part of the social security system that the government provides. So if you are an employee, your contributions to pension insurance are automatically deducted from your salary every month. with your employer putting in half however it's important to note that the statutory pension is an often enough to maintain your standard of living in retirement that's why additional private pension plans make sense for most people this is also the case for self employed individuals since the safety net of a government pension doesn't exist for them those were the common mandatory insurances but now let's talk about the ones that may be optional in the eyes of the law yet are still essential to have Imagine this you drop a banana peel on the floor someone slips on it falls onto the road hits a cyclist who then collides with a car the car turns suddenly crashes into a bus which then hits onto a building and the hende building collapses okay i may have gone a bit too far but you get the point accidents can happen at any time and on a really bad day it can lead to someone getting seriously injured or even killed such situations can become incredibly expensive and can lead to a lifetime of debt for you this is why private liability insurance or half life versicherung is one of the most important types of insurance you must have it protects you from costs in cases where someone is injured due to your actions the annual premiums are very low for such insurance 
So do get one, even if you are someone who always put the banana peel in the bin. If you are someone who takes at least one international trip a year, you should get an international travel health insurance or Raisa Krangan Fasishram because the risk of illness or injury is always higher when you are on vacation. and your local health insurance may only partially cover these costs or might not cover them at all depending on the country you are visiting and trust me these costs can add up very quickly especially if you need to be transported back home due to a serious health issue again the premiums here are very low around 20 to 25 euros per year so do get one and enjoy your holiday without worrying about unexpected medical bills Anyone who has been involved in a legal conflict knows that seeking justice has become increasingly expensive. The cost for lawyers and court proceedings have risen dramatically in recent years. Whether it's a disagreement with the landlord, an issue at work, or any other legal conflict, the expenses can quickly add up. That's where legal insurance or rest shoots versus strong comes into the picture. However, unlike liability insurance, the premiums here can be high based on the coverage you need. So, you have the option to reduce the cost by only opting for the protection that you really need. For example, if you are an employee living in a rented apartment and don't drive to work, it makes sense to include coverage only for rental and employment law and skip protection for all driving related disputes. You may be a carpenter, IT employee or a teacher. No matter your profession, there is always a risk of becoming unable to work normally working individuals are covered by company accident insurance if they experience a mishap at work however this is limited to accidents that occur while you are on the job and also the payouts are usually very low and cannot fully compensate for the loss of income and that's why everyone should consider having occupational disability insurance or berus unfähigkeit versicherung and the sooner you start the better because when you are young and generally in good health your premiums will be lower i don't have life insurance and it isn't always necessary however if you have people in your life who depend on you financially whether it's your spouse children or others then getting life insurance or lebensversicherung for is a must it makes sure that if something happens to you your loved ones can maintain the quality of life and this becomes more important if you have significant financial obligations like a mortgage and just like with the occupational disability insurance the earlier you start one the lower the premiums typically are and as your children grow older or your financial responsibilities decrease you can consider reducing or even canceling the cover now there are different kinds of life insurance policies out there so make sure you get term life insurance and not an endowment or capital life insurance why i will tell you towards the end of the video there are also other types of insurance you might need depending on your personal situation for example if you own a property it's important to have building insurance or house rats versus room if you switch on the tv not a day passes without hearing about a natural calamity happening somewhere and this insurance can protect your property from damage caused by storms hail fire or lightning similarly if you own a pet instead of a property then a pet owner liability insurance or tier half flesh versus room is the one you need many dog owners believe that the pets are harmless but even the friendliest dogs can cause significant damage and in almost all cases the owner is always liable for any damage the pet causes regardless of whether they did something wrong or not now we have talked about many policies although these insurance contracts can give us a sense of security they also come with a downside cost every policy has premiums and these can add up quickly that's why it's important not to take out insurance casually and to avoid unnecessary ones and two that you can often avoid are capital insurance policies and equipment insurance capital life insurance policies are insurance policies combined with investments they were once a popular investment option but they have become less attractive now due to low interest rates it's always a better idea to separate your investment and insurance needs rather than combining them into one product and the same applies to policies that cover insurance and pension payments an etf savings plan combined with a payout plan when you retire can provide you with more flexibility and better returns equipment insurance is for insuring items like bicycles cell phones laptops or glasses these are generally only worthwhile if you have made an extremely expensive purchase it's definitely frustrating to have a broken cell phone 
but replacing it usually won't cause significant financial trouble similarly other types of insurance like passenger accident insurance and travel luggage insurance are often unnecessary passengers in a car are usually covered by the driver's auto insurance and travel luggage insurance often comes with strict conditions and high cost making it less useful i know it's frustrating to pay for services that you are not using and insurance can very much feel that way but you never know when you will need it so it's better to be prepared than to face total financial doom i hope you found value in this video if so do like the video and subscribe to the channel until we see again with another video have a wonderful rest of the day and adios